just answering questions with WAPTEC. I put up a video and about a bunch of comments showed up on it, including from a person who's done something to change the outcome. So let's get the first set of comments done. I appreciate your fine observations and correct identification of sources or my attempt at it because people who keep finding sources keep not putting links to their sources. It's a basic critique. The person that I was critiquing, the YouTuber, was making basic mistakes and kept making. But this is just basically, you know, maybe we're all tone deaf to these kind of things. I mean, honestly, it's not really something we're supposed to have to do, but we should. As to the recognition of voice based on a grainy recording, it's, uh, it's compression-induced artifacts that we tune out but recognize in audio recordings and sometimes get confused by, but I'll cover that in a minute. The FBI uses biometrics and forensic voice experts for voice recognition. Counterpoint, the FBI has acknowledged that audio recording compression has made it impossible to solve certain cases because it makes voices sound the same to the software and to the people. An old-style audio recording on a tape recorder is much more admissible in court, and now audio recordings on the internet, depending on the compression level, are being excluded. Yeah, well, that video is now just garbage because I can't use the audio samples because the channel that had them that I was using in this example to prove that he's not the person anybody claimed he was, they're all gone now. I really hate having the pins knocked out from under me and then I get accused of doing something I didn't do, but let's move on. Defense counsel may argue the reliability of grainy cell phone recording. Yes, and that's been found to exonerate people who are probably guilty because it is garbage. That was the whole point of a video I was going to do today. But again, old source material is gone, so, and I'm basically being told, don't do it. So I just fucking erased it. Defense counsel, yeah, that, you know, the innocent until proven guilty. I'm not criticizing this person commenting, but let's move on. The methods of analysis and the expertise of forensics experts have advanced to overcome conditions of background noise and low quality in cell phones, only in special cases where there was a very specific thing about the person's voice. More importantly, the source material is exclusively traceable to the source, not a video re-upload where someone added their voice, put images over the top of it with animations in the corner, and did every other damn thing people do on YouTube that infuriates me, including putting little red circles around everything. I'm angry at the internet, not at you or anybody commenting. It's just frustrating. It was used to find Osama bin Laden. Yes, because his voice is extraordinarily unusual, even among his population. These two videos present information for voice comparison. The one that I was critiquing. In the Railroading 101 video, and or up car knocker saying the word guys, and in the call to uh, Grey Use Investigates, hey, you got the date right. The person you're quoting the source from kept getting it wrong and kept posting the wrong date. Ryan from Ohio, down the hill three times compared to down the hill. They're not the same audio file, and I had an entire video explaining this using Audacity that I worked on and fell asleep at the computer working on. I'm deleting it. Fuck it. I give up. Because my source material just erased itself. Uh, Upcar Rocker, you just erased all the evidence that I was using to prove you're simply not the person that they're claiming you are. Also, along with the other video about the fact that uh, uh, what little information I could find would make it to where you were never in the area that year. But uh, I can't do that because that will be used against me in a court of law because it would be considered harassment. Next person. I think Red Zeppelin means well, but I worry this won't end well. Actually, he's not dancing around it. He's directly calling someone a murderer of four girls. There have been comments on his channel. I think they removed them after I had called them out on it. I know. I'm trying to explain to this person he's bordering on committing a felony by publicly accusing somebody of something that they haven't done, and he's pseudo-danced around it or said it. This is called witch hunting. By the way, if anybody's not aware of it, I, I even still have the video somewhere. I can prove that CNN literally accused me of being a Sandy Hook truther when I debunk them. If I'm debunking a subject, I have to address the subject matter. It's impossible not to do that. Explaining that to people at YouTube never works. 
me debunking Alex Jones says I'm promoting it. When I called him a stupid fucking bastard. I got a channel flagged and destroyed for harassment because I claimed that uh, that literal Nazis, neo-Nazis, who venerate Adolf Hitler are bad people. I was accused of denigrating a dead man, Adolf Hitler. My channel got taken down. By the way, if uh, Upcar Rocker, if you're watching, he's changed his channel name and erased all the data I had, so I cannot literally do a video explaining to you that you're wrong about this uh, connection, Red Zeppelin. If you're if you're watching Upcar Rocker, um, I, I people accusing me of doing the thing that I'm doing the opposite of, of is something that's literally a joke on the internet now, and I'm okay with it. I don't know if you watched the entire video. I might have done a bad presentation. I'm going to mute all the audio or whatever I need to to make it towards inoffensive or maybe take it down. I don't know what I'm going to do today. Anyway, I think they're being reckless by accusing him of it publicly or at all. Also, if you're interested, he's actually also included a video of another guy who looks nothing like Ryan, interchangeably, or Brian. That said, I do have a strange fascination with it. Do you think Upcar Rocker sounds at all similar to Ryan Bryan or the 101 guy? He visually resembles the 101, the railroading 101 guy because everybody in the area dresses the same because that's the source of clothing and such. Um, somebody who's a fan of railroaders will sometimes dress unconsciously like them or it's just the environment they're in because everybody has to dress that way. By the way, I have an identical set of clothing. I was thinking, oh, by the way, I did a video showing that I wear the same clothing, but no, no, you know what? I'm not going to do that either because, again, everything I'm comparing it to just disappeared because the data source, the evidence that, that exonerates somebody has been erased by the person who I was exonerating. Do you, <clears throat> you can reply and take it down if you prefer. No, they don't sound at all alike, and I had an entire video with uh, Audacity up showing that the audio aberrations people are picking up as being voice characteristics are audio aberrations. I also did an audio recording where I said down the hill and did the same editing, and it sounds similar to them. I can make myself sound like Bridge Guy. The video's gone. I'm not going to put it up. Oh, yes, I seen that video yesterday. Love how you break it down and keep it real for the public. Thank you. What are your thoughts on the sketches of Bridge Guy and why they got two out? The police department has attempted to explain that, but they've done a really shitty job of it because, coinkadinkly, they keep making it to where certain information is no longer available. This is a real frustration with me. People have asked me, why do you archive things? And I said, because websites delete stuff because they figure it's old and there's no point in having the bandwidth. Or they take it down quietly because they made a mistake and they don't want to put up that they made a mistake. Now I'm compelled to do almost a similar thing because... <clears throat> you have a link with pictures of me on your video description linking me to all of this. No, I'm putting it up as an example showing people that it doesn't. I even JPEGed it to make a point. I'm screenshotting all of this and contacting my local police tomorrow. You, fo you folks are off your rockers. You people, okay. I'm debunking the you people that you're angry with. And now that all your videos are down, I don't have proof that you're the source that debunks the claim to Red Zeppelin, who's making a simple mistake. And essentially convincing himself it's acceptable to essentially publicly accuse people, which is witch hunting. Red Zeppelin, if you're watching, that was the video today I was going to do. Instead, we get this one. If you are tied to whoever was sending me messages on Facebook asking if I was Ryan from Ohio, please stop doing it. I'm not. I'm trying to get them to stop because they started gearing up yesterday or the day before. It's starting to click a little now. I received a weird message like that the other day. Yes, I was trying to warn you, but you didn't respond to me on my video by saying, what's up, so I can explain this to you through posting back and forth between channels. I, of course, block them immediately. This is beyond creepy. If you block people, you break communication. If they can't communicate, you can't talk to them. If anybody's curious, uh, Upcar Rocker wasn't in the fucking section of the country at the time. But I'm not allowed to prove that because that will be considered harassment. Because I really, really legitimately found evidence that he was nowhere near the area for a week before and a week after. 
but I can't post that because that will be interpreted as harassment or stalking. I can't prove, uh, up Karnocker, I can't prove that you can't be a suspect because you won't let me. If any time a harassment assume, uh, ensues, I will contact law enforcement and let them deal with it. I won't stand to even be remotely accused of such heinous acts, but you're making it impossible for me to prove that you didn't do it. And more importantly, convince the person who's doing the action. There's only one doing it. Now Now that's not going to happen anymore because now it's spread to fucking Facebook. I almost caught this. I almost nipped it in the bud, but hey, let's let's just... Let's just throw out the the auto flat tire flattener in front of me. Let's just while I'm going down the road. Let's just make sure that I go off the bridge and and die. This is by far the creepiest, most absurd thing I've ever come across in all my years on the internet. I'm literally steaming over this. Weird beyond belief. Yes, I know. And the reason I left a comment under your video is saying, if you're still here, would you just say you're here so we can have a conversation? I'm not allowed to post under a video. Someone is accusing you of murder. If I do that, I will be flagged for harassment because the bot will immediately do that. Warning someone that something's being done to them is considered harassment and evidence for shutting down a channel. I've tried to help people so much over the years that any channel I put up will be automatically put on ultra-sensitive mode to look for any reason to harass me. Me putting up videos the way I do won't get me flagged. Me trying to tell you that this is being done to you in a comment will get me killed off the internet. They'll IP ban me. All I can say is, wow, this is super strange. I checked out your channel after responding to your something and it's missing. And came across this video. I'm going to tell you is if you're looking for the Delphi Bridge guy, you're definitely barking up the wrong tree. All I did was film local bridges over 10 years ago. Yes, and not on the date claimed. Made a few short videos about railroad stuff. Yes, but you may or may not have been railroading 101, but I can't find that information now because you've erased anything I would use for comparison for, for anything. By the way, no, you're not the same guy as far as I can tell, but again, you'd have to confirm or deny it. By the way, then you could copyright strike the guy uploading video samples and demand that he take it down and inform him, that is my video, but I made it X number of years ago. By the way, I was nowhere near Delphi because I was on the other side of the country, but I'm not allowed to say that because I'll be accused of, stri of tracking you. I was just a young guy making informative videos. I lost interest in making videos years ago. I don't anymore. I don't have anything to hide. This is absolutely the strangest thing I've ever come across. Welcome to the internet. This always happens. Random people get accused because people are grasping at straws. I'm creeped out, to be honest. I haven't posted anything since 2011. I know. That's what I told people. Not 2017. I know. The Railroading 101 video is claimed to be 2016 or 2017. I pointed that out to, again, the YouTube channel, uh, <sighs> Red Zeppelin. I'm waiting for him to respond by understanding he should take down the videos because what he's doing is bordering on felony. <sighs> or whatever you state. I'm explaining to people it's not you. I know all about the tragedy in Delphi. It's absolutely awful. Hope they can find the dirtbag who committed the crimes. But you are definitely going down the incorrect trail. I'm explaining you're not the person, not the opposite. CNN accused me of being a Sandy Hook truther when I'm debunking them. It's okay. I understand no one is able to get this. I'm not being subtle about it. I don't understand this, but okay, I understand it's going to happen no matter what I do. I just have a disclaimer. If you assume the opposite of what I'm saying, I'm not at liberty. I'm not required to apologize for your misconceptions. I literally had that in videos. I got flagged for it. Because that was apparently being done to be an anti-snowflake uh, uh, complaint on the internet. So I got flagged for that because the bots started flagging that. <sighs> I'm not your guy. Just an average person with zero connection to anything that happened in the incident. I know that. That was the point of the video. And the video for today was going to just... They're all gone. I'm, uh, I'm backing out. The video that these comments were put, put under will be zero. That means the audio will be blanked and it will be made zero length if necessary to get rid of anything that could cause this to be a problem to the individual or to give them a reason to sue me or flag my channel. I'm also going to find any other video that mentions anything about this and do the same thing to it if necessary. Upcar Rocker, uh, Upcar Knocker, if you're watching, by erasing the content, You've made it impossible for me to show that the contact existed a long time before this, which proves you can't be the bridge guy and you can't be any of this because you were nowhere near the area because you weren't. Subsequent comments you made later showed this. 
Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. The evidence is gone. I'm